episode of City Skyline. So today we're going to go ahead and see if we can't redesign this area right in here. And if we have time, then we'll start uh, dezoning some of this stuff and see if we can't um, get a little bit of a better system built. So at least that's the idea that we'll, we'll end up going with, but I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to get done today with this little section. So um, depending on how that turns out, we might tackle this little section over here. Might figure out where we can better structure the intersection, roundabouts, um, avenues, stuff like that. All this is going to have to be pretty much redesigned, um, I think. So, because we have all this, and traffic does come over this way, but a lot of traffic still coming out this way to get to the industrial way, I think. Uh, we can tell by going to here. And we'll just select that and you can see a lot of industrials still using this route here, right? So uh, compared to if we were to select say uh, This one right here, there's some but it's mostly for the farming industry So a lot of people are going this way for the actual industry area itself so I think what we'll do is um not sure how much traffic is actually going this way. It looks like there's a fair decent amount of it. Uh, we could probably disable some of these other ones. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of uh, industrial traffic going this way. Some, actually quite most of it's going to our logging industry over here. So that's probably part of the problem as it's not exactly close to the highway so we'll need to figure out a way to get traffic directly to the industry area um so i'm still trying to think of what would be the best way of doing that so probably not today but we might be able to unzone some of it and let's get started on this part we have um a whole bunch of buildings in here that we need to remove And then we'll start taking it from there. We want to unzone a bunch of stuff too. <laughs> okay, we'll see if we can't just take that. Okay, there is some commercial here that I want to remove as well. Yeah, this is where it's going to be a little bit harder.
So I got a outline for our uh, highway, so we can finally put that in now. Um, yeah, so basically I just outlined it with the um, just a regular road, so we had something to work with. And then that way we could easily just replace it. So something like this. Might take a little bit of uh, prep work for the um, sides and stuff, but it doesn't take too much work to update it all like that. So now we have a nice even highway. Uh, on both sides and I put a little river in um, I figured that would be a nice little addition to Utilize this lake. I noticed it was a little bit taller than the actual water down below So I thought it would be perfect for a little river that goes out um, Now I'm not sure what else to do with it. So we could maybe bring another river this way. Maybe I don't know um, I'll think on it because it does take up a little bit of room but it would be a nice, a nice addition too. So um, maybe we can do that. We can try it and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna like select that part, and then might be able to do a direct line to that corner. And we're gonna have to like fill this in a little bit. I need to bring that up. Just a tad. I'll flatten this out a little bit. Just so it's a little bit more of a river. Perfect. Alright. I think I like that. That looks good. Uh, we're going to have to delete all those trees now. Yeah, and then it'll just kind of flow directly in there. Alright, let's try to smooth that out a little bit, so... It just falls a little bit nicer into the river there. It should do its thing, that's good. And, uh, yeah, so now we can finally start planning out the roads a little bit. Um, in regard to where our main avenues are going to go. So once we get that part figured out, then uh, we can start to um, get the roads and stuff in.
so I got the roads all in now. We got a pretty straightforward system for roads. Uh, we have a couple connection points here and here where traffic might be a little bit more congested than normal, but it should be fine for the most part. Uh, it's not directly right on the highway, so it should help. Um, as far as here, uh, this has all that stretch before it, it becomes a problem. And I think it should, with this roundabout, it should handle the uh, congestion quite well. So um, I'm hoping that's going to be the case. It's a highway roundabout, so it should give them plenty of room to um, do all that. Now, uh, one of the things that we can do just to make sure that everything's set up a little bit better is we can change these two to two roads. So there's a dedicated turning lane um, on these sides. So they can pick the lanes that they need to go into when they turn from one of these sections, like they're doing right now. So as you can see, these guys are going that way, he's going this way, and going on to this side, it looks like they're using the dedicated turning lane, so perfect. And that will that will hopefully help with congestion as well, so um, just an idea that I had. And then we can also set these to two lanes of traffic. Uh, reason being then there's one dedicated turning lane off of the highway as well. So as you can see there, there's a dedicated turning lane. So hopefully that will help a little bit um, with the road statistics and stuff, but we'll see. Um, obviously there's a dedicated turning lane there, but also here, so that might cause a little bit of problems. Same with this one, but I think for the most part it should do just fine uh, as the city grows and stuff. Now, I have been working over on this district over here, uh, just trying to build it up a little bit and get some things in. And I'm hoping that uh, there will be enough for some parks and stuff like that too. We might even put a small school or something here, I think. Uh, Police station. We do need police stations, actually. So, let's see what would benefit both cities. That kind of benefits both. We probably need a couple different ones for each one. To tell you the truth. So, unless we put a big one down. Yeah, a big one would cover it. So there's a couple different styles as well. We'll go with that one. So we probably should want that off the gi.
guys, we got uh, this area all developed now, so I'm pretty happy with the design of how it's set up. Um, so far, no traffic issues in this general area, but it's not quite dense enough, I don't think, for any traffic issues. Traffic flow along here is pretty good at the moment um, as we get further up. Uh, it's actually gone down um, during the day. Now it's... I don't know what time it is because it doesn't have time in this game, but um, it is daytime, so the the flow over here is pr doing pretty good. It's a little bit congested just at the moment right here, but um, I'm not sure if... what. Let's take a look at our uh, traffic flow. We're at 90%, so that's not too bad, giving you know, the circumstances and stuff. We'll see how this area actually works. I think it might have been just a influx of people coming into the town at that particular time. We still probably want to get um, a, eventually a system for traffic to get to this uh, industry area. Um, we'll need to figure out a probably redevelop this area when we set up the exits and stuff and hopefully Rather than going through the town, they'll kind of do that. Um, we could also re remove that whole exit, put the exit over here, and then kind of route it around to the industry area too. And then that way our three industry areas are taken care of. Um, but overall, I was, I'm was i pretty happy with the way the district over here turned out. Uh, this is called Oakdale District. And then we got Redwood Heights on the other side. It still needs a little bit more work in Redwood, but um, also some death care apparently. But um, overall, I think it looks really good. And then we have this area that we need to develop eventually as well. So, And I put a little bank here uh, for um, businesses and stuff to store their money. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.